Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ayyul habita fillah continuing on in our study of the difference between advising and condemning by Imam Al Hafid Ibn Rajib Hafid Allah uh, rahmatullah alayhi rahmatun wasi'ah we reached a, a very important quote that we were mentioning the last time a, a quote of Sheikh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah showing us that when we refute one another when we refute uh, Ahlul Bid'ah even, that we should be just. When we refute non-Muslims, we should be just. That Islam calls us to being just. Islam calls us to being balanced. That is the asal of Islam. The asal is not to be extreme. The asal is not to be throw away the principles of Islam, but instead to be in the middle and be just. Because Allah wants us, uh, verily Allah loves those people who are just. And he is Al-Adl. Qalash Sheikh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah fi Jawab al Sahih li man badal din al Masih. This is his book. Sheikh al Islam said, Walamma kan al Itibal and Biahum ahl al Ilm wa Adal. Can a kalam ahl al Islami wa Sunna mal Kufar wa ahl al Bida bil Ilm wa Adal. Labi dhun wa ma tahwa al Infus. Will he have a call in the Biu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Al Qadat al Thalath. القضات ثلاثة قاضيان في النار وقاض في الجنة رجل علم الحق وقاض به فهو في الجنة رجع علم الحق وقاض بخلافه فهو في النار رجل قاض للناس على الجهل فهو في النار شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية said he said and as it was the case of those who followed the NBA, the prophets, والسلام, and they are ahl al meaning the people of knowledge, and justice, meaning the followers, the true followers of the prophets, were the are the people of knowledge and justice because they have the ilm and they can practice that knowledge. They know how they know what the NBA were upon. They know what the NBA called to. They know their minhaj, their methodology. They knew their dawah. They knew that they called the tawheed, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa taala alone. So he said that they are the people of knowledge and justice. Then the people of Islam and the Sunnah. With regards to their speech regarding the disbelievers and the people of innovation, was with uh, was with knowledge based on knowledge and justice, not based on uh, suspicion or desires, which are in accordance with uh, a person's uh, desires. And in this regard, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, there are three types of judges, or judges of are three types, two that are in the fire and one in paradise. A man who knows the truth and he judges by it, then he is in Jannah. And a man who knows the truth but judges in contradiction to it, then he is in the fire. And a man who judges the people based upon ignorance, and then he is in the fire. Look at that, Ahabit So it shows us that not having knowledge and speaking about affairs about the deen and involving ourselves in affairs about the deen is impermissible and can be a means to leading to the fire. Because look at what the people do. They judge. Oh, so-and-so said this. This brother said this. This brother's teaching here. And he's he's uh, he's like this. And then the person doesn't even know basic usul fi deen. Doesn't even know how to make tahara properly. Pro possibly does not even know how to read fatiha properly. How many people and how many times and situations have we found this to be the case where people have no knowledge of Islam or limited knowledge of Islam and they're speaking about issues of takfir, they're speaking of issues of tafsiq, and they're speaking about issues of tabdi' calling this one an innovator, this uh, alam an innovator even. Wa'iyadhan billah min jahl. So this shows us the, that it's imperative to have knowledge and speak with knowledge and be just, even with uh, Ahl Bidah. And first and foremost, 
with Ahl Sunnah that you should be just with. So when your brother makes a mistake, don't jump and jump on the bandwagon to condemn them, but make sure that you have knowledge and understanding of that to where you can speak with knowledge and you can make judgments based on knowledge. Then Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, فَإِذَا كَانَ مَنْ مَنْ يَقْضِي بَيْنَ النَّاسِ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْدِمَاءِ وَالْأَعْرَادِ وَالْأَعْرَادِ إِذَا لَمْ يُكُونْ عَالَمٍ عَادَلٍ كَانَ فِي النَّارِ فَكَيْفَ بِمَنْ يَحْكُمْ فِي الْمِلَلِ وَأَدْيَانِ وَأَصُولِ الْإِمَانِ وَالْمَعَارِفَ الْإِلَهِيَةِ وَالْمَعَالِمَ الْكُلِّيَةِ بِلَا عِلْمْ وَلَا عَدَلٍ كَحَالْ أَهْلَ الْبِدَعِي وَالْأَهْوَى This is a powerful statement. Shaykh al-Islam then said, after he mentioned that hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so he said, then, then if this is the case, For the one who judges between the people with regards to their wealth and their their blood, meaning, you know, the, the things that are sacred, your wealth is sacred, your, and, and honor, and blood. The Muslim's blood is sacred. Then, and this person does not possess knowledge or justice, and they are in the hellfire, then how much so with regards to the one who judges regarding the religion and the foundation of Iman and understanding lordship or Tawheed and being a, 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 a teacher and a, a knowledgeable person in general about the deen and they don't possess any knowledge or justice then this is the status of the people of innovation and desires, letting us know that knowledge and justice must accompany this aspect of criticizing people. It's not based on our vain desires. Also, also <clears throat> Sheikh al-Islam are mentioning some other immense benefits that we have to understand, that refuting people is from the religion of Islam. And if we look to the Salaf of this Ummah, we'll find many, many athar about this. And I want to read a few statements of the Salaf of this Ummah with regards to criticizing individuals to know and understand that it is from the religion. But as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, that it's done with justice. And it's done based on knowledge. So ask yourself, the next time you want to speak about so-and-so, or this da'i so-and-so, who's calling people to Tawheed, and calling people to Kitab Allah, wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or calling to whatever, make sure that you can do so with knowledge and firmness. And make sure you can do so with justice. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with regards to that. Qala Affan, kuntu inda ibn Aliya, faqala rajul, falan laysa min man yakhud anhu. قال فقال له الآخر قد أغتبت الرجل فقال الرجل ليس هذا بالغيبة بغيبة إنما هذا حكم قال فقال ابن عالية صدقك الرجل يعني الذي قال هذا حكم A fan he narrated this about ابن عالية he said I was with ابن عالية And then he said, uh, and then a man said, so-and-so is not someone you should take knowledge from. So here he's speaking about someone. And then another man said, you have committed ghibah, you've backbitten this man. So then the first man said, that is not from ghiba. that is not from backbiting. Verily, this was a judgment. This was a ruling. So then he said, and then Ibn Aliya 